Hey YouTube, this is KFlynn300 and today I'm going to show you how to download MC Edit for Mac. It's not that hard. Uh, click the link in the description and this page should come up and you want to click download app right here and this will come up. If you have a Windows, 64-bit uh, Windows or a Lunex, there, all the links are right here so if you need the link it's right there alright so show this in the folder click and drag it to the desktop and we can get rid of both of those double click on this it will open up and you'll get this folder now I've noticed that a lot of people don't really show you what to do after this or they just uh, they open up a terminal or something but you don't need to do that just double click on MC edit and click open and it will flash right there but it is opening so then you get this you have to make sure that you've closed minecraft this is a warning and if you don't close minecraft minecraft will get really laggy and that's not good so once you're in MC edit you can create a new world load a world open a level and I have two worlds that I've already affected right here and uh, they'll show up over here and you can just press F1 or F2 to go to that world so that's how you download MC Edit. also in this video I'm gonna show you how to download Sp Spiritcraft or Spritecraft the full version because there's a lot of free versions out there and you don't really get all the effects so you'll get this link in the description this is a direct link to the full version so just click download full now right there and then click and drag it to your desktop and you will get a jar file and that's not a bad thing just double click on it and it'll open and this application lets you take any picture that you have and turn it into minecraft art which is really cool and you need MC Edit to use it uh, if you have a small picture, you're going to want to put no max width and no max height. But I have a really large picture right here that I'm going to convert. So I, I just put it to a 100 by 100. And actually, I'll change it to 150 by 150. Make it a little bit bigger and more detailed. And what I'm going to do is click browse. And my picture starts to... Th okay, that's my picture right there. I'm going to open it up and it will open up right here and you want to click create minecraft blueprint and it'll take a second then I'll show you all the blocks that it used to create this and then I'll show you how many blocks of each it used to create this and I'll zoom in here and this is what it looks like and it's just really cool and what you're going to want to do is press save schematic and just save it to your desktop and I'm gonna save this as uh, 123 so it shows up at the top okay so it's saved you can just go ahead and exit out of that and go ahead and exit out of that so now we're gonna wanna start up MC Edit and I'm gonna open a world we're gonna do yeah we're gonna do load world okay so now that you're in MC edit it just looks like regular Minecraft there are some differences like uh, animals show up as red blocks and different things that you need to turn on show up as purple blocks like those are uh, pressure plates so you're in Minecraft, you press right click to move around and then undo, and then press right click again to just uh, move this way. So I'm going to maximize my screen really quick. And once you're in here, I'm going to zoom out. You go to this button, which is import. Click import, then you're going to want to click back. It's not doing anything. Oh, there we go. 
I'm gonna pause the video really quick and figure this out. Okay, so that was kind of weird. Uh, I did get it to work. Just press import and then press back until you get to this page where you can see desktop. Double click on desktop and the schematic that I labeled 123 is right here and press open. And you get this huge, huge plane. And it took me a little while, but I figured out how to lay it down. And you see these little things over here. You can't just press roll and it'll lay down. You gotta uh, make sure, well first make sure it's upright. Like right now it's upside down. So let me flip this again. So now it's right side up. And you gotta rotate it once so it's facing the other way. And then you gotta click roll. And then it goes flat. So that's if you want it as like on the ground. So click it left click it and it will stay there you can see what it looks like I think that's pretty cool having the Volkswagen symbol on the ground and then to import it completely press enter and it will start to import it and you'll get this red block these red blocks that will import it it's loading So anyways, then to save it, all you have to do is uh, press your uh, Windows or Apple's Apple key. It's between Control and Alt on the left side of your keyboard. And you'll see all these different options that come up. And just press Save. And it will start to save it. So when you go into your world next, it'll be there. It automatically goes there. You don't have to move any files around. And it's just nice to save it and just let it go. So I'm going to pause the video until it's done saving. Okay, it's done saving. Um, hmm, one second. Do you select? So this is the finished product. Pretty cool. I took this photo myself and edited it in Photoshop to look like that. Uh, and I'm going to show you what to do next. You can just press the same key and go to quit and it will quit out of it completely X out of MC edit and then you can go down here go into minecraft alright I'm gonna go to login okay I'm going into that same world that I was just in And there's my picture. It's still loading. So this is how you see everybody who makes Minecraft art on uh, on their YouTube and on the computer. This is how they do it. It's really not hard. And uh, if you do do it by hand, then congrats to you. That's pretty cool. But this is how everybody else does it. And it just looks awesome, the finished product. So let me load this completely. So yeah, there it is. That's my Volkswagen symbol. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. The download link to both of those will be in the description.